Welcome back. This is Defender Chassis. My name's Scott, and you're watching episode 18 of Have You Seen My Tool? On this episode, what I'd like to show you is called a Flange Wizard, and it's made by uh, Flange Wizard. Uh, they've got a website, flangewizard.com. Uh, as we always try to do, uh, this is a product that's made in USA. And as is typical, uh, I don't have a connection with these people. It's just something that I happen to use. You know, find uh, find useful. Want to make uh, other people aware of uh, this tool or, or, or one like it even. In fact, uh, th this tool, uh, th this, you're not limited to buying uh, this particular model. Uh, there are other companies that, um, that, that make a similar device. And, and what this tool does is it's, it's a V-block with a uh, center punch and what it allows you to do is put a center punch directly at a specific angle on a uh, tube or a pipe or something of that nature and it's got a level on it and you can adjust that level to whatever angle you want now this tool is something that's typically used by pipe fitters and if you're familiar with my channel you realize I'm I'm not a pipe fitter but I'd like to show you what uh, what what uh, what I use something like this for now, I want to point out that uh, there are magnets. Uh, you can see one is located here in the center of the V, but there are also magnets located in, in, in each leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this spirit level on the flange wizard to 90 degrees or zero. And what we've got here, this job, is this is a Ford 8.8 .8, uh, differential and the owner would like to have this narrowed by two and three eighths of an inch on each side. Now normally when we'd narrow a housing we'd buy uh, new ends and just weld straight to the tube but the Ford 8.8 .8 is, is um, uh, a little bit of a different animal and so we're going to reuse these ends, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut a sec two and three eighths inch section out of the tube where the tube stays um, constant in diameter. As you can see, the tube actually necks down at the end, and then the end of the tube is machined and this flange welded on. I can't get these ends new, um, and if we just cut this off at the flange like we would typically uh, a big Ford or any, any other type of housing end, then these bolt holes will be too close to the tube to do any good. So what we're gonna, like I said, what we're gonna do is cut two and three eighths out of this, and then use our um, Alston uh, rear end jig to uh, move this housing end in two and three eighths of an inch. One thing we want to make sure that we do is we want to make sure that the orientation, the clocking of this housing end, stays the same. We don't want to get this thing twisted way. Uh, w way out of shape. That's where the flange wizard comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to punch uh, a dimple on each side of the two and three eighths of an inch that I'm going to remove so that when this end goes back on we can line those dimples up and make sure that we didn't get this end twisted. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, go out here where I know that I know that I'm going to have uh, good solid material past the cut and we'll just center the, the bubble in the level. Alright, and then we'll give this a punch. Now one thing you want to, you want to do, this is good for uh, transfer punches as well. You don't want to whale on, uh, on this. There's no reason to wear out uh, this punch. So we're just going to give it enough to give it uh, so, some identity. And then you can see where that, uh, where that punch was made. And then we'll come back with a center punch that uh, is easily replaceable and easily sharpenable and give it another good whack. That way we've got a good solid um, good solid spot there to, uh, to identify. Now <clears throat> one trick I want to show you here I could come over here approximately say three inches and that would uh, you know give me a location so that this would be you know uh, fairly easy to uh, to line up but that compounds any 
uh, irregularity, you know, uh, the accuracy of uh, you know something like this is probably in the neighborhood, say two, three degrees, something of that nature, which is not bad. But to increase the accuracy of that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here further and put a punch. Let's just go ahead and do that. Once again, get the spirit level centered up. Just give her a little tap. Go back again with the uh, the hand tap. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a straight edge and I'm going to connect those lines. And then we're going to take a, a scratch all. Okay. Now, you can see we've got a line, and I can put at this stage, if this punch over here is a few degrees off, the fact that it is so far away brings it more in line by the time we get over here. So if I'm three degrees off over here, at a third of the way down, I'm only one degree off. So by doing that, it increases the accuracy. Not that that's, not necess not that that's necessary in this case, but nonetheless, and we also have this you know, scribed line that we should also be able to use when, when we line this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and and uh, go over. Let's just go ahead and let's just call it three inches. Well, probably more like two and a half is going to be a little more realistic. Find that line. And you can, if you've got a good sharp punch, you can you can feel that line with uh, with the uh, with the edge of the punch, so you know you, you get it there. And again, at this stage, there's no reason to wail on it. Just give her a little light tap until you see that you've got it in the right location, and then you can come back, find that, and drive her home. So. That's how I use the Flange Wizard. I'll provide a link. Uh, I think I, at the time of this video, I paid a neighborhood of 60 bucks delivered for this uh, off of Amazon. Similar prices can be found on eBay. I'll give you a little link down in the doobly-doo, and, uh, and I'll give you a couple links for some uh, different products as well. They make these, shoot, there's one that they want almost $300 for. So I'll give you a link to those, and you can take a look at those as well. So anyway, hey, listen, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next episode of Have You Seen My Tool?